Hey everybody, it's Pastor Noah here uh, to just give you a run through of what it what the experience is going to look like coming into our church for the first time on July 12th and following. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is y'all are going to park. So there's my car right there. I parked. It's nice, eh? Blue. It's cool. Anyway, so you're going to come in. You're going to come in these doors right here. Uh, the reason we're going to use these doors rather than the main doors that we usually go for is because these have uh, have door stops that you can use um, you know, to keep the door jammed. However, as we see with this one, you can't actually jam it because technology. All right, so after you come through these doors, you're going to come in, and as you can see at the floor, there are green, uh, there's green tape on the floor to indicate, uh, you know, how where groups are supposed to stand to stay six feet apart. Uh, over here we have a hand sanitizing station. Now this station might be here, it might be over there. Either way, as soon as you come in, we're encouraging people to hand sanitize. Uh, that's an important, important, uh, important rule. The ramp is going to be specifically for those who have special needs who need the ramp, uh, as those who are able to use the stairs are encouraged to do so. So you're going to walk over here. Here at this table, we're going to have our check-in, and we're going to have resources over here. As you can see, we got a ton of resources to give away. Um, uh, those will be handed out with gloves uh, from the people who are here at the check-in station. Uh, all volunteers will be masked, so you'll see their smiling faces, but only this part up here. Oh, you can't see me. That's okay. We're going to step up the stairs. Here we are. We have some more green tape. You're going to walk in the door. Someone is going to stop you here so that you have the ability to be, or not the ability, the opportunity to be directed to the sanctuary. So someone's going to stand here. They're going to be like, hi, so glad you're here. Just wait. We're waiting to seat another group. Uh, okay, your turn can go. You can go, go ahead. Um, so again, we have a bunch of tape here. To the right, obviously, there's the bathrooms as per usual. But just so you know, there's only two people in the bathroom at a time. Does that make sense? So only two people can be accommodated in the bathroom at a time. So we're going to come into the sanctuary here, and you're going to be greeted by friendly ushers who are masked, um, and they will seat you. Um, but they are not going to seat you in the back first. So if you're back seat Baptist, I'm sorry to tell you, but you might need to sit in the front. But Or maybe you'll come later and sit in the back. Those who arrive first will be seated in the front seats first. As you can see, there's some pink napkins here, but that's not a part of it. These uh, green X's are for this tripod here. We are going to be live streaming our services. Um, don't worry, if you sit in this row, uh, the camera cannot see you. Nobody will be seen except those who are going to be on the platform. Um, in addition to that, uh, those who are on the platform uh, they will not be required to wear masks because using a mic with a mask is, you know, d uh, undoubtedly difficult. Um, but people who are on the platform will be having little to no contact with those who are in the seats. So after the service is over, um, and we're going to run for less than an hour for our service time at 10.30 a.m. People in the back are going to be seated, uh, or not seated, they're going to be ushered out first. Um, so those who are seated in the back seats, uh, well, they will get up and will uh, dismiss people by rows. Um, just like when you were in school, we had to say, okay, you're dismissed. So we'll dismiss you by rows or like at a banquet, you know, when you have a fancy banquet, you're dismissed accordingly. You do not need to go to the check-in table again. However, if you did bring an offering, but you did not uh, place it in the offering box on your way in. You have the opportunity to do that uh, on your way out of the church. So you're on your way down. You're done. Congratulations. The, these doors again will be ajar so that you may exit out these doors into the free world. And bada boom, bada bing. Church is done. You can linger in the parking lot with other groups. You can get into your car. You can get some takeout at the big stop. And you're done. So that's the process 
as you can see, it only took about five minutes to walk you through that. Um, again, if you have any questions, please make sure to, to send an email to the church or um, uh, send a Facebook message to the church or to myself. Uh, we're totally free to answer questions for anyone who has any kind of anything that they want clarified about the process. We understand this is a very new and very different time in our church life, uh, but we want you to know we love you, we're praying for you, and we're excited to see you on July 12th.